The Shar 2C Super Heavy Tank The Shar 2C was designed during the latter half of the First World War in an effort to break the stalemate of trench warfare. French General Moret, Subsecretary of Artillery, granted the FCM Shipyard a contract to develop a heavy tank, or Char de Sault de Grand Model, meaning Great Model Assault Tank. Although the FCM received payment for the development of the heavy tank, they failed to start basic development. Actual development would not begin until September 1916 when public interest in French tank designs rose after British Mark I's were revealed at the Battle of the Somme. When General Moret discovered the FCM had neglected the project, he took personal control over development. General Moret would come into conflict with Brigadier Estien, who was developing the FT-17 light tank with Renault and thought that his heavy tank would use up resources that could be used on his project. SDN would go to General Joffre himself to get the heavy tank project cancelled. After the first action of a new light tank, the Schneider CA, was a disaster, Albert Thomas, Minister of Armament, cancelled all tank projects. This caused SDN and Moret to work together, eventually getting Thomas to retract his decision. On November 17th, the first prototype of the FCM-1A was ready. General Patin would order 300 FCM-1As, however in 1919 with the war over, the order was cancelled and later replaced with an order for 10 Char FCM-2Cs. 30, 40, and 62-ton weight class variants were intended for the Char 2C, however the end of the armistice prevented the production of these models. In post-war France, the 62-ton weight version was produced in 1921, with 10 examples in service. The Char 2C was 10.3 meters long, 3 meters wide, and 4.1 meters tall, or 33.7 feet long, 9.8 feet wide, and 13.4 feet tall. The armor was 45 millimeters or 1.8 inches thick at the front, 22 millimeters or 0.86 inches thick on the sides, and 6 millimeters or 0.24 inches thick on the rear, some of the thickest for a World War I era tank, but thin by World War II standards. It was powered with two Maybach diesel engines, the same type that had been used on German Zeppelins during World War I, which gave it a maximum speed of 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles per hour. The tanks were also equipped with trench crossing tails due to the misconception that the war was going to, once again, break down into trench warfare. The armament for the Char 2C was a quick-fire, high-velocity 75mm gun located in a three-man turret at the front and four 8mm Hotchkiss machine guns, one in the front, one on each side, and one at the back in the rear turret. The super tank housed a crew of 12, the commander, driver, gunner, loader, radio operator, mechanic, his assistant, an electrician, and the four machine gunners. Although obsolete by 1935 due to their low speed and high profile, all 10 Char 2Cs were reactivated and put into service as the 51st Battalion Char de Combat in 1939 to serve as a propaganda device in movies, encouraging many people to look at them as invincible super tanks and helping boost morale in the early stages of World War II. Each tank had been named after one of the ancient regions of France. Numbers 90 through 99 named Poitou, Provence, Picardie, Alsace, Bretagne, Touraine, Anjou, Normandy, Berry, and Champagne. Instead of using them to defend against the German offensive in 1940, the French command ordered them to be shipped to the south of France by rail. However, some of the tanks had broken down and were put out of service. The others that were shipped to southern France by rail were destroyed instead of allowing the Germans to capture them when a burning fuel train blocked the railway. Number 99, nicknamed Champagne, failed to detonate and the Germans captured it, taking it back to Berlin as a war trophy. It disappeared in 1945 after the fall of Berlin to the Soviets, and it is suspected that it was scrapped. Watch our other videos to learn more. Get your copy of Simple History World War I, available on Amazon now. Thank you for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy the channel, please consider supporting us at Patreon.